I'm here with the director of the men's program, Todd Smith. And so walk me through, this is the welcoming area, the lobby, and I feel very welcome. It's just beautiful in here. Yes, this is our lobby and, and reception area, and it's built with a, a great deal of intentionality for a lot of the folks who will be coming into our program. You know, a lot of people don't want to be restricted and confined when they're trying to get help. And so, you know, having glass, having open areas is very welcome. When they come in, they can find peace and hope, and uh, it's just a, a beautiful environment for them to start to be disarmed and ready to deal with business. Absolutely, it's a lobby. There's no like plexiglass, take a number, nothing of that sort here. Right. This is, you want them to feel like this is a safe place. Yes. And a, and a safe haven for them. Yes, right this now. is a chance and a new it. start. Okay, so what do we have around here? Let's Let go show you. take a look. Now what we have here are our classrooms and these will be uh, open during the day for all of our group therapies and individual classroom sessions for the different groups of levels and program. Wow. It'll also be opened up for our chapel and to have uh, group sessions and services in the evenings and the mornings, uh, all fully equipped with sound and media and audiovisual. I uh, see there's a lot of space in here and so I've been at the other campus and you guys were a little cramped in there and had to get creative when it came to classroom time, right? This is one of the most amazing miracles for us because right now every room is a classroom. We are all over ourselves over there with having to really uh, be surgical in how we schedule things and this will give us so much more freedom and so much more room to be able to touch many more clients. And I love it. Everything's so fresh and clean and new. In fact, you guys are getting ready to unstack those chairs so just imagine if you will for me what it's going to be like how many guys you're going to be able to have in a classroom all learning collectively together yes right now we're unstacking and unwrapping yeah. but uh, we'll be able to have at least 80 clients per uh, class and uh, we'll be able to open this up for a little over 200 uh, clients at one time for larger assemblies. You guys got AV and you're all synced in so your your instructors can be uh, looking at things on the laptop and getting those guys really engaged. This is like a game changer for you guys. It really is and with yeah. the way that technology is moving we want to keep up and, and keep up with uh, best practices and most uh, uh, modern type of, of technology. It makes them feel like it's a classroom too, like it's not an afterthought, you know? It right. makes it feel real special for these guys who are in that process of changing their lives. It does, it does. Mm -hmm. And that's the whole point, is no matter how large we get, we'll always have the personal touch and give them the best that we can give them. The best is yet to come. I'm so excited about all of this. Okay, let's see what we got out here now. This is our patio area where uh, the clients can come out and relax a little bit, get a breath of fresh air between uh, their, their classroom times and their appointments. We actually have grass for the first time on our campus, so that's pretty exciting to see. I love it. Oh, it's so nice. And um, you're, you're going to have even more yes. to come yes. to this area. We have a contemplation garden that we're working on building as well. There'll be a fountain here, and then there'll be an area where they can do kind of a little prayer walk around the perimeter, ending with a prayer garden on the back side of the building. And that just gives, again, the guys a chance. They're dealing with a lot of different traumas, a lot of different issues. It gives them a chance to kind of come to terms with themselves, with their spiritual walk with the Lord, and then be able to re-engage with group. Just have a nice breath of fresh air outside and a contemplation garden and a prayer walk. That is so beautiful and so meaningful to the guys who are gonna be here. I love it, beautiful. Okay, so what do we have next coming inside? This is a lot of space. Yes, this is our administration wing, also our offices for all of our staff. And right here is our conference room that uh, right now is a precious commodity because our conference room doubles as a classroom, as a small group room, where this will be designated specifically for uh, the treatment teams that meet, staff meetings, in service for staff, so we actually will have our own space for the first time. Which is amazing because tell me how the staff feels about this. A lot of them came up through the program themselves, so this yes. must mean a lot to have so much space. It's true. We've had to be very creative with our space up to this point, almost uh -huh. like playing chess. If we move something, we have to replace something. And this way we actually have some room to grow and yeah. not have to have that stress. That's awesome. Now this area is something that we've never ever had before and that is an area for our college interns that come in to be trained in counseling and social services. So they'll be set up and we have clinical supervisors that will uh, guide them and oversee them as they begin to cut their teeth in uh, helping people. 
I mean, this is so hands-on for them too, right? This is the yes. best training grounds in the city, in our state, I would say. So it's pretty amazing. And so much more, this was never even possible before. That's correct. It was very difficult to host the interns that would come over. And now we're finding that we'll be able to host uh, even more interns as our client population continues to grow. You got everything. I mean, they've got their own working space, uh, looking at all the case files. You even have a break room that you guys didn't have yes. before, right? We're very excited about actually having a staff <laughs> break room. We've never had that before. So again, just the space has just been such a miracle and such a blessing. Oh, that is so great. Okay, can we see what the rooms look like? Absolutely. Take me. So this is now one of the dorms, which is a far cry from how guys are living right now. There are uh, 40 men to a dorm right now, so this is quite spacious and uh, it'll be an amazing place for them to continue their recovery. I walked down the other dorm area and I mean, it's kind of like, you know, huddled masses, but this is really a private space for them to have, yes. right? Yes. It's important for them to have that. And right now it's hard to have that quiet time and that private space, even to unpack some of the events of the day. And so they'll yeah. really have that here. And again, everything is viewed with a therapeutic touch to it. Mm -hmm. And it just really, again, gives these guys the best chance possible. Yeah, and like you said, kind of a rite of passage for them to be able to graduate mm -hmm. to these extra amenities. Oh, absolutely. So cool. Okay, let's see what we got over here. And this is our lobby area where a lot of the guys will be able to come. These are on each floor and uh -huh. uh, just to come and relax in smaller groups. We encourage the guys to buddy up and it just gives them a chance to just kind of take a breath, do some of the homework, even have yeah. some movies and some audio visual uh, aids Super will be cool. here. Okay, and ping pong, yep, we're gonna kind have of the rec room, a little, little relax. little pool table ping pong <laughs> just to kind of uh, blow off some steam a little bit in a healthy way. I think this is so cool. And it, we talked a lot about how this is about so much more than just sobriety. Yes, it actually is. Even deeper than recovery, what we find is a lot of the guys coming in because of addiction, because of trauma, they're emotionally stunted. So they may be 30 year old in their outward appearance, but they're 12 years old emotionally. They've been stunted. And so we actually become a rite of passage for them uh, into manhood and how to be a husband, how to be a father, how to be a valuable contributor to society. Yeah, and when I think about the growth um, going from one building coming into here and being able to expand that exponentially, not just in those individuals by more bodies, but also the ripple effect it will have in healing our community. Talk about those numbers, that's huge. It is, our current census is restricted. It's capped off at 155. And, and mm -hmm. so this building, we will actually be able to grow to 360 clients. And oh, wow. so uh, it's more than double uh, what we're able to do now, which is pretty exciting. Yeah, and I just think too, you've talked a lot about the trauma um, these men have seen and endured and it really is an inspiring story of survival for them. You, your counselors see this firsthand and them themselves need counseling many times because of what they've seen. Yes, yes. We do have some counselors that have come out of the same type of background, but some that have not. Uh, every story is unique, every story is different, and it's, it really is shocking sometimes to hear the amount of trauma individuals have uh, endured as, as children and it mm -hmm. shaped them into this dysfunction that they're living now. You know, and I think when they come in and see um, the investment that this community has made and that this team at the mission has made in their lives to say you're special, that's really going to give them the hope that they need to flourish into the potential for their calling in this in this uh, time, right? It really does. It gives them great value. Okay. I did notice of all the beautiful, fancy things that you have here, you have no kitchen. <laughs> What's that's, up with that? <laughs> well, that's the next part of our funding uh -huh. efforts, and that's going to be in our existing building. Our <sighs> dining room and kitchen is the, in the existing building that needs a desperate remodel. It hasn't been remodeled since the 90s, and so uh, we're getting ready to retrofit that, bring it up to, to par, and that's going to be not only our dining room, but our case management and our vocational development training as well. I am just blown away by all the potential and how amazing this building is. Thank you, Todd, for the tour today. And did you enjoy it? I think it was amazing. Thank you at home for watching, investing, and having a heart for the mission here. And so for me and everyone here at Phoenix Rescue Mission, thank you for making all of this possible.